we will uh, continue the lesson that is social movements of our times you know very well that these social movements were led by the people the people they themselves they started fighting uh, against the discrimination for the suppression of their rights uh, and they wanted to have uh, a complete uh, complete democratic state see children today we will learn about uh, a very very interesting story that happened in our andhra pradesh only in our andhra pradesh it happened in uh, the potti sri ramulu nellur district see in the nellur district the nellur district dubagunta is a village you know that nellur is a coastal uh, area and uh, in this area the women are having uh, almost all the women they are rural women they are having uh, self employment either they go for the works or they will have their own uh, uh, preparation of uh, a pre petty goods like this they have certain earnings in the year 1990 national literacy program was introduced in india as a part of that as a part of that national literacy program even in andhra pradesh that is in nellur district also literacy program was introduced hence uh, evening classes and literacy rates were uh, rates uh, were to be improved at that particular time during this evening classes the women folk uh, of this district uh, of different different villages uh, in their villages only they used to they used to assemble when they were assembling there when they were uh, uh, sitting together they started discussing about uh, their own uh, family affairs and at that particular time they find that uh, the story of every woman is the same it is ending uh, it is ending uh, with uh, lots of distress and at that si- at the same time only in uh, the primer that has come out that is uh, as a part of the literacy program the primers will come now so as a primer they have studied about uh, the story of sitamma she died what is the reason behind that everybody started discussing when they started discussing about the story of sitamma they understood that the main reason behind the death of sitamma is uh, this local made toddy or arak that is the main basis of their difficulties and uh, they started just uh, going back to their uh, own uh, family affairs they used to work from morning to evening they used to earn wages they have certain uh, they with the help of the wages they wanted to provide uh, the food or the basic necessities for their family but when they go home they find that uh, whatever the hard and money was there those wages were completely evaporated uh, and they were taken away and they were poured into the hands of these uh, arak uh, traders now they understood that and uh, this is the first thing second thing is the second thing is these people they started uh, looking on to the affairs of the family the children of their families they were forced to go for child labor to meet the needs of these uh, arak second thing is uh, these women they were abused they were exploited they were tortured for the sake of money third thing is uh, the women they have to find out some other means uh, to provide food for their family the hard earned of men and women both were uh, completely evaporating when they observed this particular scenario they wanted to fight against this abuse and hence uh, when they were sitting together in these literacy classes they understood that this is the main reason let us fight against this so in the year 1992 they took this matter to the sarpanch of the village that is in dubagunta they went to that uh, sarpanch of the village and they asked please help us sarpanch said i can't because it is a policy of the government it is a policy of the government the production or the sale is completely controlled by the government 
he can't alone do anything hence the woman they have associated themselves into the that is progressive alliance of the woman and they started uh, uh, taking the demonstrations at the time the government they have uh, come out uh, by saying that uh, whatever the money that uh, they are collecting in the form of this uh, sale or uh, by the you by the um, uh, excise duty whatever that is there they are using for the welfare uh, schemes then the woman also they also have said that okay we will contribute one one rupee from our uh, uh, from our uh, earnings and they force the collector they went to the collector they force the collector also that means they understood that if they individually fight uh, for the ban of this uh, production and sale they cannot achieve unless they are uh, having the help of the administration hence they went to the collector the collector tried to conduct the auction or the tenders for this uh, arak sale or arak production for this uh, he has to postpone four times due to the demonstrations of the woman means you see that the weaker sections of the society the weaker sections of the society how strongly they resisted a powerful lobbying and this made everyone to think this program that is the demonstrations picketing before the liquor shops or banning these arak or tadi carts to enter into the villages and also do you know children that they have used the broomsticks also to threaten no weapons are there nothing but they they used only the broomsticks they said that with the simply by showing the broomsticks they threatened uh, the tardy or the arak carts to enter into the villages mean such a strong movement was held such a strong movement was taken up uh, to develop their own standard of living first thing second thing is uh, to fight against uh, the powerful uh, Uh, powerful groups including the government and uh, this attracted the attention of many of the political parties or many of the people with the support of those the, all these uh, parties and also with the support of the leaders uh, they are able to achieve uh, the prohibition of the liquor prohibition of the liquor and this liquor prohibition first it was partially uh banned in only three districts it was partially banned in only three districts that is 1993 and later completely banned by 1995 by 1995 see the power of literacy see the power of education education and literacy is the only weapon to fight uh, for our rights it is the only weapon which gives us to judge what is good and what is bad it is the light it is the beckon light which shows the path from where these women they have got that courage or strength to uh, resist from the literacy program from the literacy program they understood yes uh, we want to develop ourselves so we are attending the literacy programs we are learning but uh, how to safeguard us so what are the methods to be adopted all these things were associated with the literacy program so like this they fought against the alcohol abuse they fought against the arak this anti arak movement became the most powerful movements of that particular time by looking on to the village of these uh, dubagunta uh, women the women of the other villages also got the inspiration they too started fighting against this they too started fighting against this and all these things that is when they started fighting against this all these things uh, they have promoted uh, the interest of that particular uh, woman so you can see very clearly that uh, this particular movement anti arak movement it was called as the adavalu ekamaithe all the women if they are united you know very well that united only we can uh, fight uh, anything so that is the reason 
they not only independently raised their voices but also went to the sarpanch went to the collector and even moved the governments moved the governments there is a true reason behind their uh, um, their movement the suffering they have suffered a lot every day at home every day at home they have to face uh, some kind of uh, uh, so certain kinds of abuse whether that is in the form of direct attack or indirect attack whatever it may be so they could not bear that for a long time hence they have resisted that they have protested that they won that they won that so you can see very clearly children that is whenever there is a need to fight whenever there is a need to fight there should be compulsorily one true reason just simply if we uh, if we come out with something that will not give us a strong reason which will mobilize all the people which will bring the sympathy of the people is it clear so this is a movement that took place in uh, andhra pradesh once again once look on to this movement adava lekam aithe happened uh, in the nellore district in the region of dubagunta the women folk they have united themselves to fight uh, the alcohol abuse and for the sake of this alcohol abuse for the sake uh, to fight against this alcohol abuse national literacy program has uh, been uh, the dais so from that dais they learned how to resist and uh, they took up the program to fight against this uh, powerful groups their particular suffering their particular uh, uh, movement moved or influenced even the collector of the nellore district so with the help of all these people they are able to achieve uh, the prohibition of the arak not only production even the even not only production but even the sale also both were controlled first of all it was banned in uh, three districts it was banned in three districts and that is we call that as a partial ban and uh, later 1995 a complete prohibition took place complete prohibition took place so this is all about uh, our andhra pradesh now another uh, movement that took place in india for the rights of the people especially the women especially the women it ha- it was taken up by the tribal innocent and uh, ignorant women we can call that weaker sections of the society they resisted the paramilitary forces do you know where it happened it happened in the state of manipur it happened in the state of manipur where is this manipur see here in the india map it towards the northeastern states this is arunachal pradesh just below the arunachal pradesh we have uh, the nagaland and uh, below this nagaland is manipur manipur this manipur manipur is a part of uh, the british india actually manipur is uh, having uh, so many independent tribal groups during the period of british conquest the britishers uh, they have added this particular manipur into british india in the year 1891 in the year 1891 these independent tribal groups they were united or they were unified and made it was made a part of the british india integrated into british india and finally when they when they were giving the independence to india in the year 1947 britishers they said that uh, britishers they said that okay if you want to remain in india you can remain in india or if you want to get uh, independent status you can go and establish your own independent status then at that particular time the manipur ruler he has taken a decision to be a part of india and uh, like that in the year 1949 in the year 1949 this uh, manipur uh, was merged into india merged into india 
but uh, there are several problems because this particular group that is manipur is uh, it is having geographically many valleys uh, and many hills so everywhere uh, a different group of the tribal people with a different culture were living and hence uh, they uh, it is uh, not possible to merge together all the interest of all these tribal groups you know very well that the tribal people they have their own independent living they have their own style of administration they have their own style of uh, rules and regulations and hence uh, they are not ready to accept uh, the uh, authority or the rule of the central government of india they are not ready to accept uh, to be merged into india hence uh, all these tribal people they try to protest they try to protest they try to fight and due to all these reasons what happened this manipur was always in news always in news and uh, this is geographically very very important area for india you see here that is manipur on one side it is sharing the borders with the myanmar it is sharing borders with myanmar and on the other side we have the border sharing with the bangladesh bangladesh very near to the regions of the china very near to the regions of the china and uh, arunachal pradesh assam these people are also having troubles now that means this manipur which is a, a very important portion to be protected for the integrity and unity of our country suppose if any if any disturbance happens in manipur that may cause a disturbance uh, to even these uh, areas that is arunachal pradesh assam nagaland or tripura and mizoram why because even these areas are also having very small area and at the same time comprising of uh, so many tribal groups so it is very important for the government uh, to control even the minute disturbance in the regions of the manipur they wanted to control these minute disturbances and for that they have taken several steps first of all they made negotiations they have given some choices to the people they have given some rights like that they have given out they have come out with some of the solutions but finally in the year 1958 the armed forces special powers act was passed armed forces special powers act was passed when in the year 1958 means uh, what is the importance of this armed forces special powers act armed forces special powers act will give all the rights to the army to arrest or detain or uh, even kill the people those who are suspected in a disturbed area means if a particular area is declared as a disturbed area in that particular disturbed area the army can arrest or detain or even uh, kill anybody this has given uh, enormous powers to the army of course these powers are given for the protection of the people and protection of the unity and integrity of the country no doubt at all but uh, certain unwanted things happened in this particular period the paramilitary forces which were deployed there with these uh, extensive powers uh, they resorted to the abuse the women especially the women and children they suffered a lot the men were taken away the men were killed those who are expected or those who are suspected that uh, they are uh, participating in uh, illegal activities they were taken away and they were killed also sometimes and the women those who were questioning that uh, 
those uh, who are questioning that uh, what is this what happened like the those who are questioned uh, they were uh, they were abused the women or uh, the girls they suffered a lot uh, due to this uh, intrusion of the army into this uh, manipur state at this particular time a lady by thangya manorama she died and uh, that story of uh, manorama how she has lost her life how she has lost her life moved all the people of uh, this manipur state the manipur women especially they started feeling that it is very high time for them to be silent they cannot be silent uh, for a long time like this it is the time for them to protest to fight even against the central government and for that particular purpose that particular purpose the women in manipur they have taken a decision to safeguard themselves by taking the steps like protecting their area from the trespassers that means what did they do what did they do they started going on around this particular area by whistling means they started securing themselves from any intrusion or from any trespassing for that what did they do they started making in turns from each and every family a one one particular lady or one particular woman they have come out voluntarily and they used to guard the streets at the night by holding the torches that is why this particular movement that is a meera pavi movement means a torch bearers what is this meera pavi movement meera pavi movement means a torch bearers that is in the meethi language means uh, what is this torch bearers why it is called as a torch bearers movement see here look here the uh, women uh, they did not use any guns they did not use any knives what did they do use is they have used one bamboo stick this particular bamboo stick it was wrapped with uh, rags old cloths rags it was wrapped around with the old cloths and uh, it was litten such that what happens uh, it uh, it gives them light uh, to move along and this by holding this uh, particular uh, bamboo sticks they used to move along all the area they used to move along uh, all that particular uh, village means uh, in a village in each and every ward the women they hold these bamboo torches and uh, they were moving along uh, to check that uh, nobody unnoticedly will enter into their village and uh, take away or uh, kidnap or uh, uh, take away anybody without notice suppose if they see that uh, someone those who are uh, uh, new or some stranger is entering into their uh, Uh, particular lane or the street uh, immediately they will alert all the people such that uh, they can together resist uh, any kind of illegal activities like that they have safeguarded themselves uh, against any illegal uh, extraction and against uh, any kind of uh, illegal extortion and uh, this particular movement uh, when it was uh, started it motivated all the people of the other villages also with this what happened slowly this particular movement influenced all the women and here we should uh, notice that the role of the women mahila mandals the mahila of course these women they are not highly educated they are not highly educated but uh, they wanted to protect themselves so they find uh, a own way of fighting uh, to protect themselves from any kind of atrocities understand
so the power the strength that comes only from a true cause that comes only from a true cause these people they fought against uh, this powerful uh, afsp or paramilitary or the central government do you know by going for the relay hunger strikes also we need to remember the name of uh, iram sharmila we need to remember the name of uh, iram sharmila see iram sharmila one of the famous lady from manipur who is known as a iron lady of india iram sharmila really iron lady only she went on continuously for 10 years of course 16 years later that means uh, on a relay hunger strike she did not take the food with the help of her mouth but through the nose with the help of the saline they the government uh, they have sent that uh, food material means uh, you can see that uh, strong will power of the woman iram sharmila she got motivated she got motivated and uh, she influenced many of the women to come and participate uh, for their legal rights of right to life uh, and right to get protection she started uh, that uh, to recognize that uh, all the people are having in our country they are having a legal right uh, to be protected against any arbitrary arrest or detention like this all these uh, whatever the movements that happened in this uh, area force the central government of course the central government uh, could not revoke this afspa within a short span of time because of the geographical location and also because of the um, uh, safety and security of the country but it forced the government uh, to reduce some powers that are given to the army and uh, the extraordinary powers were uh, somewhat limited means this is not a uh, little success it is really a wonderful success achieved by the unity of all the women to protect themselves against abuse and against the atrocities of even government also understood children see these are the movements that were to be observed and that were to be observed by us to fight for our legal rights what is the weapon that is very essential is education